this video, you will see a demonstration of a receipts processing solution that uses two key components in our hyper automation platform, document understanding and AI center. The solution we'll be taking a look at was built to extract information from receipts and export that information to a web portal in order to process the expenses those receipts are tied to. UiPath document understanding offers an out of the box machine learning model to extract information from receipts, as well as models for invoices, purchase orders, and utility bills. However, this video will demonstrate how a user can use document understanding and AI center to enhance the receipts out of the box model to account for a field not included out of the box. The first step to creating a custom machine learning model is labeling data. Labeling data is necessary because the labeled data set will serve as the input to AI Center that is needed to train and evaluate the custom machine learning model. In order to begin labeling data, a user needs to import documents to be labeled. In this example, we see the user importing receipts they have downloaded locally into Data Manager. The general rule of thumb is, the more data that is labeled, the stronger the model is going to be. Once data is imported, a user can label data either by using the hotkeys that are assigned to each desired field, or by using the predict button to generate labels for them to validate. A user has the ability to add fields to the schema of the document. Here we see an example of a user adding a field for the subtotal of a receipt. This is an example of adding a custom field that is not included in the out-of-the-box model. Once all imported documents are labeled, that data is exported to a zip file. If a project in AI Center has not been created, the user can create a new project to begin the custom model creation process. Once a project is created, the data export from Data Manager will be uploaded to AI Center as a dataset. Only one dataset is required to create and train a model, but often users will export two datasets, one for training and one for testing or evaluation purposes. Once the appropriate datasets have been uploaded, the next step is to create what we call an ML package. An ML package will serve as the container for the machine learning model that is going to be created. AI Center offers a variety of choices for defining what type of model is going to be created, all the way from a general document understanding package to our out-of-the-box models like invoices and receipts. Because the labeled data is a set of receipts, the package type should also be built using the receipts package. By creating a receipts package instead of a generic document understanding package, we're using something called transfer learning. Transfer learning allows a user to extend the knowledge base of one of the out-of-the-box models and build upon it using the dataset that has been uploaded to AI Center. In this scenario, we are extending the out-of-the-box receipts model by adding a custom field, subtotal, to the list of possible fields the model is trained to extract. Now that data has been uploaded and a package has been created for our custom model, the next step is to run a pipeline. There are three types of pipelines that can be executed. A training pipeline takes its input an uploaded data set in an ML package and executes a series of steps to train and create a machine learning model. An evaluation pipeline takes its input an uploaded data set and a machine learning package that has already gone through a training pipeline in order to evaluate how accurate and how well the trained model is performing. A full pipeline takes as input two data sets, one for training and one for evaluation, and an ML package to host the created machine learning model. Here we see a full pipeline being created. Once the full pipeline is completed and the user is happy with the accuracy from the evaluation portion, the ML package that contains the newly created model can be deployed as an ML skill. Once an ML skill is created, a user can select to use the skill in UiPath Studio by using the machine learning extractor activity, thus configuring their workflow to process documents using the custom machine learning model. Here we see the predictions for target fields of receipt that was processed by the ML skill. Behind the scenes, the UiPath robot sent the receipt as input to the model. The model takes a look at the receipt and tries to extract target pieces of information that we specified during the labeling portion. 
we see here that with each field, not only do we see the predicted value, but also how confident the machine learning model is in its prediction. It's important to note that not only do we see fields that are included in the out-of-the-box receipts model, but also the custom field, or subtotal, that we added during the data labeling step. Once a user validates the predictions, the results are saved and exported to the appropriate downstream systems. In this example, that downstream system is going to be an expense reporting portal. The robot here is able to go through the same series of steps that a user would in creating an expense report. Once the robot gets to the stage of the report that requires receipt information for the expense, the robot uses the validated output from the machine learning model, or the ML skill. Once the information is plugged in, the robot attaches the corresponding receipt to serve as evidence and submits the expense report to be processed. And that concludes this demonstration. This has been an example of how a user can use AI Center, Document Understanding, and the UiPath platform to create a custom machine learning model and develop an intelligent document processing solution.